It won't be long before they start bringing a double team. Oh, they're, didn't I call it? Just clear. I'm not giving them the ball. At least cut. Well, never mind. I got this. Just, just get out the way. Get out the hole. Oh, my God. Damn, I'm good. Yo, 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 what is up? It's King of the Fourth Quarter here, and I'm going to be trying to lead my Brooklyn Nets into the Staples Center to get a win over these LA Clippers. And you think about the LA Clippers, probably one thing comes to mind, and that's the highlight plays. Chris Paul does a great job of keeping the fans on the edge of the seats, throwing oop after oop. You know, he hits some game winners, things like that. So the LA Clippers are probably the funnest team in the league to watch. But King Jerry comes to this game with two things on his mind. He wants to, one, show the league that the Brooklyn Nets are the better team because we are first in the Eastern Conference and they are first in the Western Conference. So this could potentially be an all-star or a championship matchup right here. So it's a big game for us. And two, to show that we can make highlight plays as well. Right here as time winds down, I hit Blake Griffith with that step back. I mean, he had a long reach, so I had to do something to try to get that shot off. And the step back is ridiculous. Reggie Miller did say that's probably the deadliest step back he ever seen. And uh, <laughs> I do make it most of the time. But it's not only the Jerry scoring show. You see right here, they start to bring the double team. When you get a double team, there's always somebody open. And I hit Blatch right at the top of the key. He can probably knock down that shot nine out of ten times when he's open. And again, finding Josh Childress with the nice dug by him. They just weren't getting back on defense. So I took advantage of that. And I, I, I end the game with a lot of assists. Not just scoring, but a lot of assists. Um, Josh Childress is definitely one of the highlight players of our team besides me, Gerald Wallace. And Joe Johnson, he definitely comes off the bench and provides some energy. And right here, I hit Chris Paul with a move, sent them flying, and Blake Griffin just got dunked on. I know you're not used to seeing that. I said it again. Blake Griffin just got dunked on. He's definitely usually the guy dunking on other people, but I just had to set that man down. You saw that. I mean, my head was just as high as his. He's probably one of the highest jumpers in the league. And right here, I hit Jared Wallace with a nice pass. I, I, well, I gave him a dime. How about that? To streak the between the defenders, got him open on the break, and he just docked on some people too. But that's just the first half. The second half will start to turn up a little more. Right here, Blake Griffin on me again, I guess, because his wingspan, but he decides not to close out. And I just pull that in his face. I mean, I could pretty much do anything. The double team comes, Chauncey Billups gets lazy. He just let me out instead of dunking on somebody. I just laid it up because I'm getting a little tired. You see the score. I mean, I played most of this game. I got 47 points. You know, a man can get tired. And again, time went down the third, another step back with Blake Griffin on me. I was just, I was just teaching Blake Griffin. I mean, there's nothing he could do about it. Another step back for another buzzer beater. Probably hit all four this game, but we didn't have it in the second and fourth. So, you know, I have yet to do that though. Hit all four buzzer beaters. But right here, I set Eric Black so one way. Blake Griffin. Really awkward. Oh! You would think he learned by now, but I guess not. You should have just stayed over. No need for the hell defense, man. 60 points, 20 assists. I'm out. Your college team, WIU, has made it to the NCAA tournament as a 5 seed. Any thoughts? Something tells me that they might just win it all. Hello? Is this is this thing on? All right, all right, it's good, it's good. Uh, mom, you can get out of here now. Uh, I'm gonna do a commentary. So, uh, you could just put the pizza rolls in the oven for two minutes. Hey guys, uh, I'm, I, hi. Uh, I, I'm gonna bring you a gameplay, and I'm gonna pick Cleveland because they still have LeBron James on their team. And uh, the opponent, I'll probably pick, I don't know, Miami, Miami, because you know they don't have LeBron, and they're not as good without LeBron. So. You know, I, I think this is a fair matchup right here. All right, and I believe these are the controls for uh, this amazing game. Uh, these controls are a little bit more complex than my Chess 2000 game I usually play on Sundays. Uh, so let, let's let's hop right into it. As you can see, we're right in the leapfrog position. I I didn't think this was leapfrog. I thought this was basketball. You'll see. I don't remember basketball being like this. Ugh. This looks like it's football, hockey, golf, tennis. So it's like it's like all the sports I never play are combined into this 
Mom, did you buy me the right game? I, s I said NBA 2K12. You promised me for Christmas, Mom. You said we can't buy 2K13 because it's too expensive. So, so I said, buy me 2K12. And this isn't 2K12. What is this? What? You, b you bought this from Xbox Live. What? No, 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 not College Lacrosse 2012 NBA 2K12, Mom. Oh my God, are you serious? Oh my God, my everyone's gonna laugh at me when I go to the chess tournament tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. I'm I'm gonna run. Bye. You you burned the pizza roll. I'm definitely running away now, Mom. Well, if you made it this far in the video, then you can see that I'm not your ordinary commentator. Actually, I am your ordinary commentator. I have ordinary gameplay and an ordinary voice. But I guess what helps me stand out towards others is the entertainment value I bring. Whether it's me using my ordinary dull voice or being a chess master named Sebastian. With that being said, I guess I should explain the whole beginning of this video. Since this is sports commentator March Madness, I decided to bring out some odd sports such as lacrosse. Not a lot of people talk about that, nor do they post gameplay commentaries about that either. And these are the things that I do on my personal channel. Whether it's trying so hard to be entertaining or just posting odd games. If you guys want to come check it out, then feel free to. Some of my favorite sports are basketball, obviously, because that's what I majority post on my channel. Extreme camel racing. And chess boxing. Which, by the way, the last two sports I listed are real sports. I'll probably put a picture of them up so you guys can see. I mean, if Extreme Camel Racing and Chess Boxing had a video game of it, that's what I would be posting on my channel. I mean, wouldn't you? Anyways, I'm sorry for sharing my strange sports hobbies of mine, and I would love to share more of my traits and, and what I do, but sadly, this is an eHarmony.com, and sadly, the video is coming to an end. So I'm so sorry I can't tell you guys other hobbies of mine that I like to do, like long walks on the beach while holding another man's hand, looking him straight into the eyes twirling his chest hair and other hairy parts of his body with my finger all while making a homemade pornography on the beautiful beautiful sunset beach you know I, I can't tell you guys that even though if I did because this video is wrapping up if you want to know about that stuff then just check out my channel you know so remember I'm not gay I just want to boogie to some Marvin and that's about it I thank everyone who allowed me to showcase my personality to a bigger audience and if I don't see you guys again well it's been a pleasure so uh yeah Bye-bye.